Well, I have dueling lawnmowers today. I have my landlord and the guy next door cutting lawn today. And uh, so you're going to probably hear that somewhat today. Today I'm going to be working uh, on the cowboy. I got to... Yes, I can take the head off. So I'll have to work on that head uh, separately because uh, it started out to be an Indian and now it's a cowboy. I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I'm going to put a rod into the clay of the cowboy to keep him on the horse. And then I got to work out the uh, I'm going to have the rein in the, this guy's hand here and maybe his uh, lasso I, his leg. The key is to try to coordinate the movement of the horse, the action, the gravity, the thrust. Uh, for every action is a reaction. And the uh, cowboy himself reacting to it all. He's got his foot in this stirrup and barely in this stirrup. And I'm trying to decide whether to put tapaderos on the uh, the uh, stirrup that would add to the uh, look no matter how you look at it whatever I do it's going to cost a fortune to cast this uh, because of the uh, cowboy and everything I mean quite honestly it may never get cast in bronze it may just stay in clay because I might price myself right out of the market here I don't know. Everything's gone up in price. Casting costs, mold costs, everything because of uh, slop supply problems uh, and uh, the cost of materials now because of the uh, current economy. So this may take a few years before it ever gets cast. 
but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I can't uh, govern what I create by what's going on in the world. I'm going to pull that arm in. best I can. <sighs> we have put a hackamore on this uh, horse. Instead of a uh, bit. I like the look of it. But you can see why I did the saddle first. <laughs> really had to. That's one way to take care of a arm hanging out away from everything. It's like he's grabbing on the horse, but he'll have the uh, lariat in his hand. And he's trying to stop himself from getting out of control on the horse's back. kind of modern art like right now but I'll improve that I'm gonna put another let's see what kind of armature I have for the hand yeah I'm gonna put another screw through the hand to hold the clay in place holes in there nice and tight now.
The less stuff I've got flying around away from the main figures, the less cost it will be. Although it's still going to be cheap, not cheap. I kind of want to see what it looks like with the uh, steer, if it makes sense. All right, it uh, looks really good on there. Um, it looks good from every angle, including far away. <laughs> I've got the... Uh, steer on the wrong side of the, I mean, on the uh, outer edge instead of in the center of a turntable, so it uh, doesn't turn like I wanted it to, just get the closer view, but the uh, horse and the steer look good together. Okay, I want to attach his leg to the saddle a little bit better, because that's where I want it to be. I just hit a bit of the armature. So I'm gonna have to do that again. I don't know if I even have to do that quite honestly. Yeah I do. not drilling a leg to the saddle, it's just giving it a uh, obstruction to having it pop back out again. I got a bit of the armature right there. I want to push it in. There we go. It 
it's still popping through the clay, but I'll just have to work around that. Yeah, I think his natural reaction would be to pull his leg in. He doesn't want to get hit by that uh, bull. All right, see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry I didn't do much today, but I'm, today was just primarily getting that cowboy situated uh, the way I think is best for him. Hi. Right. Good night, everybody. I'll live with this overnight and see how I feel tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.